So hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm finally going to be doing this video that I had planned to do for such a long time. I'm going to be doing a full face of Primark makeup. So some of it's old, some of it's new, um, some of it I've already used before and I've been waiting ages to do this video because I've just been picking up the last bits but now I've finally got everything except for eyebrows but because um I just couldn't find anything that would suit my eyebrows and I'm very like set in my own eyebrow product anyway so yeah I just couldn't really get anything that I was gonna like for my eyebrows um and also the reason this video has taken so long to um to make was because I was just trying to get a powder from Primark for the longest time ever but now I finally finally got one so um yeah I'm gonna be testing the powder I've got a cream blush a new cream blush to test I've got new lip gloss um and I've got a ton of other products to show you how they look so if you want to see um how I do my makeup in this full face of Primark then just keep watching so first thing I'm gonna start with my eyes I actually know they do a new primer at the minute but I forgot to pick that up for this video, so sorry about that. So I'll just have to use a bit of concealer on my eyes here, um, just to to set them down. Um, I knew I'd forgotten something else. I'm just gonna blend that out with the sponge on my eye. I absolutely knew I had forgotten something else. Um, but yeah, oh well, I will definitely try and pick that up because. I love the Wet n Wild primer, but honestly, lately it's been let me down a little bit. And as you know, if you'll you'll know if you've watched my channel before, I don't really get on with the Pay Louise base. So I'm definitely gonna get that Primark eye primer, and I will try it in a future video because I'm very open to trying a new primer. The Wet n Wild one's just letting me down lately, unfortunately, and I don't know what it is. Um, if it's just my my eyes, I, I actually had a terrible time earlier today with my eyes when I was putting my makeup on um earlier today I had the wet and wild primer and then it just wasn't I don't know it just wasn't working so then I uh, took it off and put the Pay Louise base on and oh my god the Pay Louise base literally stuck to my eyelid and it was all um it was like clumping and it was just like really texturizing like one here on my eye and it was a nightmare to take that off as well so I've not been having the best time with eyeshadow primers lately so I will definitely be picking that Primark, Primark one up to try because I'm I just want to see how it performs uh, because if I can get a new eyeshadow primer that's gonna be good then yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely looking out for that so I will try that in a future video but yeah firstly I'm going to start with the the eyes so for the eyes I have a couple of Primark palettes but I did get this one recently so I'm going to try to be trying this one it was actually in the in the sale for a pound when I was going in to pick the final bits up for this video so yes I was like definitely <laughs> gotta get that so this is the PS Starry Eyes um eyeshadow palette so it was originally 4 50 and it looks like this i will just take the um the little bit of plastic off so you can properly see the shades so there's what it looks like it's so beautiful but i already just know i'm going to most likely be reaching for the gold in this palette because i can't help myself so i'm going to start by putting i don't know let me see um i think sometimes it's hard to tell if the if these are like fully matte or if they have a little bit of shimmer in them so um i guess i'll just start with this one up here there's no shade names or anything but this this shade up here but i honestly have been wanting to do like i did do a full face of primark not so well, I suppose it'll be a few months ago now on my TikTok. Um, if you want to follow my TikTok, it's just the same name as on here, Belfast Beauty with two Ys. I did do um, a full face Primark back then, but I didn't have as much 
and they didn't have the newer stuff that I have now. So this is just like kind of an updated full face, but the first full face of Primark that I'm doing on my YouTube. So that's, that's like quite a nice colour, but I think, I definitely think it's got a bit of shimmer in it. Well, that's the way it's coming across on my lid anyway. Yeah, I, th I definitely think it's got a bit of shimmer in it because it's just not looking fully matte. Like up close on this mirror, it's... You can definitely see there is like a shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna go in then with this this one here down at the bottom. I, I really don't like when there's like no shade names because um, I'm trying to find the plastic sheet to see if there's any on it. No. Because it just means it's a bit hard for me to, uh, to you know, refer to the shades in the palette. But that's a nice shade to top this up with. I did, was thinking about using the Exposed palette. I think it's called the Exposed palette. But I um, thought I'd just use this one since it was like going to be first impressions for me. I actually think they look. They look these eyes, the, these eyes, these shades look quite nice. So I'm going to go in and deepen it up a bit with this one here. Also, hi, can we just talk about, I don't know if you've seen it, but I did a TikTok on it. I don't know if you've seen the, these in Primark, but honestly, the 60p Primark nail polishes absolutely unreal like this is um i can't remember the shade name of this could be sky i don't know but honestly like the primark nail polishes for 60p the, the small ones they're quick dry um the colors are absolutely gorgeous they um are a little bit sheer when you put them on so you probably need like two coats but they're 60p and honestly they stay on my nails for absolutely ages before I take them off like I can go like a week to 10 days and literally I've only top these nails up like once like the 60p nail polishes are so good and I honestly just don't hear people really talk about them but I absolutely am obsessed with them I've only really started to paint my nails this year because I used to have really short nails but now I've let them grow out a bit so um I'm really loving those nail polishes from Primark and I would really recommend that you pick them up since they're only 60p and I think the colours in them are just really fun as well but yeah I think it's looking quite nice so far that brown has definitely deepened the edges out I can't tell if there's I don't know I can't tell if there's there doesn't look to be any shimmer in the brown but now that I'm actually looking a bit closer at those other two shades I put on, they definitely do have a shimmer in them. So I'm going to go and blend all this out and blend the edges out with this white shade up here. It's the lightest shade in the palette. I wish there was kind of a, um, like a bit of a darker shade, like just one that wasn't as light sometimes um it can look very stark on your eye when you've got like darker colors on but i'm just gonna try and soften all the edges out with that and i'll probably need to go back in with some of the shades to build any pigment that is lost Now I'm just going to go blend them all off and then I'll come back for the shimmer. So I have went and blended the edges out a bit more. Um, tried to sort of, yeah, just blend everything out. Because the two of the shades were like shimmer shades, it does make it a bit hard. And it, and it kind of makes it a little, just a tiny bit patchy in places. But it's, it's not that, like they're just harder to work with than regular matte shades but yeah I've pretty much just blended all of it out now um at th this point I will further go blend it all once I have the shimmer on and everything but now I'm gonna put the shimmer on so these are the shimmers so you have like two ready ones like it looks to be like a champagne one and like a goldy 
one. If it wants to fully focus. I'm not sure about it's not really focusing. Um but yeah, that's the shoes. I don't know what's happening, but um yeah, so I will I actually want to swatch like the champagne one. So that's like the champagne one. Um I'm gonna actually go in with that and I might maybe add a bit of gold over the top. I don't know. Um, I like this kind of champagne one at the top, so mm. probably just use this in the inner corner and then go in with the gold for like the main part of the lid. So it kind of feels a bit chalky, the shimmer. I'm not gonna lie, it feels yeah, like a little bit chalky. I don't know if you can see when I put it on, but. Yeah, it's feeling a bit chalky. So I'm gonna go in with the bottom one there, the gold. Oh, that's so pretty on my on my finger. So hopefully it's nice on the lid. That's so nice. I'm so glad that that's that's yeah, that's really pretty that shade. Also, um I was thinking about like future content for YouTube. I was thinking about maybe doing a video on some parts of my makeup collection. Um, maybe I don't know what you would want to see. I've got like drawers of like different drawers organized of like different makeup categories. I have like blushers and highlighters drawer. Um, I have like a lip glosses, lipsticks. Um, I have a drawer full of like lip kits, like um like lip sets things like that um i have like two drawers of smaller eyeshadow palettes and then i have a bigger um like like case that's like storage box actually of bigger eyeshadow palettes so if you want to see part of my makeup collection definitely just like let me know i have a drawer of things from tiktok shop as well so if you wanted to see that then let me know um but i was just thinking might be nice to just show some of my collection. So this is the eyes done. So the shimmers are quite powdery. Don't know if you can really like tell from this, but the shimmers are definitely quite powdery. They're not the best quality, but it, the palette was a point, so um a bit full price 450 but it's not the worst quality but it's so not. yeah um well i what i was saying was it's not the worst quality but it's not the best either from primark so i went to look in the bathroom there in the lighting there and it is very um natural looking it's very like it's not very um pigmented on your eyes like in person probably looks a lot better on camera here than it does in person but you know the the quality of it wasn't awful um but I will say it's not the best Primark palette I've tried I love the exposed palette um that's a really good one and the the one that I used in my Charlotte Tilbury dupes video absolutely love the shimmers in that as well so this palette is not the best one but we'll move on so I have got the PS Flawless Glow Rating Glow Primer Foundation Hybrid. I'm sorry in advance for how long this video is as well. Um, and I also just want to say I did try the Primark Cream Eyeshadow uh, recently. Not that long ago actually. Um, but I don't know, it just doesn't work on my eyelids because my eyelids are quite oily it doesn't like it just sinks into the lines of my eyelids it just yeah it creased it just didn't work for me so if anybody has any tips for um using cream eyeshadows when you've got like oily eyelids let me know but i'm just gonna blend this in i'm gonna need to use that mirror again from just the starry eyes palette but i'm just gonna put this blend in with this foundation 
brush from L. I absolutely love this. It just gives your skin like such a nice glow. You'll have seen me, you know, already use it before on camera when I did the Charlotte Tilbury video. Um, I love it because if you're like having like a no makeup day or something, or you know, it's just it's so quick and easy to put on because of the coverage and everything of it. Like you don't have to be precise at all. You can just literally, you know, in two seconds, just like really like buff it all in. Um, it just gives you some kind of coverage and some kind of tint and glow to your skin. So that's why I really love it. So yeah, that's it. All buffed in. It just gives the nicest glow ever. So now I'm going to use foundation. So. I wanted to get the new foundation, but my shade in Primark foundation is Cool Sand. But the new foundation I seen the Luminous one. I think it was Luminous. I think we had um shade Sand or shade Cool Beige. And when I swatched them both, they both looked like way off for my shade. So I I just have this one, the Perfect Finish foundation. If it wants to focus, nothing wants to focus and. Just, um in this video but yeah perfect finish foundation so i will just put, and i find this quite hard to use because um it it's like a squeezy tube and that like sometimes i'm just like oh i don't know if i'm using too you know too much product so that's probably the one like drawback of that foundation but on the plus side, it's £2.50 and I think for £2.50, it's amazing. Like the coverage is so buildable. So honestly, for £2.50, like you could literally use so much of this. And like honestly, I've bought this so, not so long ago, but uh, like honestly, like way last year. Um, Yeah, it's at the back of it, it's valid. It's like, it does it. Like, the date on the back of it is like 12 months so it's i bought it, i must have bought it around summer last year so yeah but i would definitely recommend that because like it's £2.50 so like when you want a bit of coverage but you don't like if you're only going out to the shop or something so you don't want to waste like full um you know like an expensive foundation this is great for those kinds of occasions where you just don't want to like where you want to wear a foundation but you don't want to waste a product like an expensive product but yeah the cover did nice and buildable on this i think i put a good amount on today i might need a little bit more for a bit more coverage down here or something but yeah because honestly sometimes i put too much on and yeah sometimes i put way too too much of this on because I, Usually I just go like one pump for foundation, but because this is like a squeezy tube, it's, uh, you can't do pumps. So I usually end up putting way too much on. Okay, I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit more just for down here and for up here. But yeah, um, I definitely recommend that you pick this foundation up because I just think for the price of it, £2.50 I think maybe it's went up to £3 now but like that still obviously is insane so like look at the coverage it is quite decent and I could definitely build this up a bit more but pretty happy with the coverage that I've got from it so now I've got some concealer this is the liquid concealer medium coverage in also cool sand because the only other shade I could see down from this was like porcelain and that was like stark white so I was like that is not gonna suit me. So I'll just put, I only really put concealer under my eyes or if I have any spots anywhere, I'll put it like there. So I'm just going to use this, this sponge is actually from Primark as well. This Disney Princess sponge has not covered my spot. So I'll go under my eyes first with it and like I don't think this is an awful concealer but obviously it's not like the, the best coverage wise 
Um, I'm gonna try and put the. Yeah, I'm gonna put a bit more on the spot and let it sit for a minute. Um, yeah, I will let it sit for a minute and then I will blend it in to see if it works better that way. So I'm so excited for the next product that I've got. So this is a dupe of the Rare Beauty. I think it's Cream Melt Blushers. Um, so this is the cream blusher in the shade Rose. You just need to open it. I haven't even looked inside it yet. This is so exciting. So this, it looks like that on the front. Cream blusher. Oh, it's so pretty inside. They did have a peachy one, but it was really like bright like orange. So I didn't pick it up this time. If the formula is good, I might pick it up. But yeah, I'm just, I don't know whether I should put it on some under the back of my hand or just go straight in with my brush. I'm going to try and go straight in. Just see like what we're kind of working with. Right, okay, so I take a little, the tiniest bit has come off. I'm gonna take some. I say, I don't just, just don't know, you don't know how much is enough, like, do you? So, I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. Hmm, I didn't really pick an awful lot up. I'm gonna just try and go in a bit more with the brush. Okay, that's a bit better. It actually smells really nice. Um, but oh my gosh, that's actually really pretty. Okay, I just wasn't actually taking enough the first time. Yeah, it's definitely a buildable formula. I'm gonna actually check it in my mir little mirror here from the palette. Okay, I would definitely say it's a buildable formula. It's quite, it's quite dirty. Um, it's definitely blendable. But I wouldn't say it's like, you know, too pigmented or anything. I would say it's just, like you can say what I, personally I think it's very natural. Like it's not, it doesn't look crazy like some cream blushers you put on and they're like in your face. So yeah, I actually think it's really nice um, and like natural looking. So I'm just going to try and put that concealer in now. Nope. <laughs> okay, that concealer is just not the best. Yeah, the concealer's not, not the best because the other concealers, when I do that, they would just cover it up straight away. So I'm just going to vacuum on my foundation brush and try and cover that up a bit more. Okay, so now I have some powder to try. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Loose Baking Powder in Translucent. So I'm just going to open this and hopefully this is good because I am always looking for new powder but I don't, like I think this is everybody with any product so like you don't want to spend a load of money if it's not going to be good. So that's why I'm so like, you know, about powders and just because obviously you always hear people talking about the Huda powders but they're so expensive I'm like... I don't know I, I just I hate that feeling when you spend a fortune on makeup and it, you get it and you're just like oh my god this was not worth the money this was like oh, I was so excited for this and it's really let me down so yeah um but this was only what should I say it was three pounds so hopefully it's still good I currently use the collection per, lasting perfection powder at the moment that is my powder so hopefully this one is good so I'm just gonna go under my eyes with this so I'm gonna 
just try and get some of the product out firstly. So I'm gonna need to put the lid back on and just shake it a bit. Hopefully that will be a bit of it out. Yeah, okay. So I am just going to take some of this powder and tap some excess off in the back of my hand and then just go in Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely like kind of like blur my skin a bit. I'm just gonna go back and just just blend that a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go in to the other side. So the concealer's not great. It um. It, the coverage is not great as you well you know have seen and um it it's a bit like it does crease more than my other concealer so it's not the best so yeah the powder is actually quite nice i'm just gonna powder the rest of my face now with it and just see how that goes Okay, so I powdered my face now and I'm really liking the powder. Um, yeah, I think the powder was really nice. Um, I'll definitely have to test it again to get a full opinion, like, you know, do a full wear test throughout the day, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks now. And you can kind of still see the clean blush coming through, but like I said, in my opinion, it's very, like, natural. So I would definitely need to use a powder blush with it i always do use powder blush anyway but yeah I, I like it for like natural the cream blush it is very natural looking but i do like it because i love having a cream blush on just as a base but yeah and the powder the powder i've had no problems with the powder i'll just have to see how it wears on on like a full day so next i'm gonna go in with a bit of bronzer so i this is the only bronzer i have from primark it's from this Glam On The Glow palette. This is the only one I have because the single ones that they had in my Primark were gonna be way too dark for me. This might be too dark, so I'm just going to put a little bit on and see how it goes. So this is, it's probably gonna to be too dark, but I'm just gonna try it. So the way I'm very like new, like still a beginner for like bronzer and things like that. So. I take the, the literal tiniest amount and I take it on this brush. Okay, that's way too much. But I have a method that bronzer is clearly very pigmented. So I'm just gonna do the, the temples up here. Why have I gone out of focus? The temples. Um and I try and blend that in, but I do take my powder brush and just just blend it in like that so it doesn't look too crazy because I am very pale so any kind of orangeness on my face because I don't fake tan is going to look ridiculous. So I just kind of do this to buff it in a bit more until maybe I get a bit more confident with con contour bronzer you know that kind of thing so um yeah because I'm literally still a beginner because I literally did not do any sort of thing like this before Christmas. So I literally just do like that, like the tiniest amount. Like I literally do the tiniest, tiniest amounts and then I just blend it out because I find that's working best for me at the moment as like a beginner in this kind of thing. And because of my fair skin, I just find it this the easiest way for me so I'm just gonna do that and then I'll kind of go in with the powder puff and just underneath just kind of and then I will blend out with my powder brush just so it's not a really like a harsh line or anything um and so that it is not really 
like orange on me because that's my worst fear when it comes to like bronzers that it's gonna be really orange so yeah that's just what I like to do this is my current method I know it's not what anybody else has and what you're meant to do but it works for me as a beginner who doesn't want to look really orange so I'm gonna go on to my powder blush now so this blush is absolutely stunning this is the carnival one so they used to be a pound i believe they're up to 150 now this is just what it looks like it's absolutely stunning it's like a pinky corally shade and you need the smallest amount of this and it is stunning like like honestly like look at how stunning that is I would definitely say the foundation's not like full full coverage um but that's because I could have built it up a bit more so I could have you know put more on it would have been a bit more full coverage but I decided not to and then I was happy with what I had so I actually really like that powder as well I'm just looking under my eyes and they don't seem to have creased as much yeah, look at how stunning this blusher is. But when I started filming this video, it was literally like daylight and now it's like getting dark outside. Um, But yeah, love that blush. And even at £1.50, they're still so cheap. So now I'm going to move on to highlighter. So I have the Pearl Glow. This was €4 Euros because I bought it in France. I think it's £3.50 when you buy it in the UK. Mine is completely horrible inside but uh, when I bought it it said glow 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 all through it but as you can see it's been used quite a lot I believe this is the lightest shade that they do I'm not 100% sure on that but yeah so I'm just going to take a bit of this and honestly it's so stunning like can you just see how stunning that is it's gorgeous Like literally the most stunning highlighter. Like, can you honestly see? Absolutely stunning. So that is highlighter. So I'm going to jump off camera to do my brows because like I said, I just don't have anything from Primark for my brows. I couldn't find anything that was gonna suit me. And um, like color wise or I just I don't like pencils so I'm just gonna jump off and do my brows my normal way and then I'll be right back for the final few products so I've just done my brows there like I um usually would so now I'm gonna go into mascara so I've got as always the Wanderlash and um, this is still the best pre-mock mascara that I can find I've tried a few other ones and they're not as good so if you are looking for a pre-mock mascara I would say this is probably the best one it just makes your lashes really um long and thick and if you watched my charlotte tilbury dupes video i think that was the one i mentioned um the eyelashes on this side <laughs> were being really awkward and difficult for me and just not cooperating in the slightest well i'm happy to say that we seem to have moved on from that stage uh they seem to be looking a lot better these days so that is fantastic um i don't want to speak too soon but i just noticed today and yesterday they don't look as awful as they were looking before like they were looking really short last week um they seem to be on the right track to getting there now and improving themselves so i am happy with that there was just like a big gap in them and they were really short i don't know like what was going on there but yes i'm happy to report that they're not as bad as they were in that video so that is really good news so yeah this mascara is three pounds i think it should still be three pounds because i bought this one just last month and it was three pound then um and yeah it's really lengthening and volumizing and i there's nothing more i hate than shopping for a new mascara because like 
I don't know, like, mascaras are quite expensive. Well, I suppose they're not that expensive, but I'd say, like, if you went to Boost or Superdrug, you know, like, the brands L'Oreal, Maybelline, um, Rimmel, Max Factor, you know, those kinds of brands, I, you're definitely talking at least kind of around £10 for a mascara from those brands, and I would definitely, like, in my opinion, you know, if you're going to be paying £10 and it turns out to not be that great, like, I'm really disappointed when that happens because it's like £10, a lot of money to um, spend on a product that you're essentially not going to use because it's turned out to be not that great. So that's why I'm always sceptical to buy new mascaras because they're quite expensive for them not to be good. So if anybody has any cheaper mascara recommendations, definitely let me know down below. But I'm actually pretty happy with this one at the minute. I think I said it wasn't as good as I remembered it but I think I think that the more you use it it improves over time like I think when you first get it it's not that great but when you've used it for a couple of weeks I think then it starts looking better definitely like that is like that's really good in my opinion for a three pound mascara so now I'm on to the final part, finally. I do not know how long this video has been, but thank, like, thank you so much if you made it to the end. So I'm going to line my lips firstly with the Primark Lip Liner Pencil in Toffee. I believe there's 12 of these um, lip liner shades and there is two in the like Charlotte Tilbury dupes range, the PS Sweet range, so 14 in total, I think, unless they've added new shades, but uh, last summer I went and went around literally every pre-mark I could find in this country and collected them all. So these lip liners are one pound and they're so like creamy. So like easy to apply, they don't like drag on your lips or anything. I always like to take my lip liner in slightly so it blends a bit better with the gloss or lipstick. Yeah, it's such a nice colour. It's definitely like darker than the toast lipstick. Lip liner, sorry. Um, So yeah, there is the lip liner. I'm just gonna try and blend it in a bit. Yeah, I like to do that to kind of just blend it a bit more into the the lip. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with a, a gloss today. So not no lipstick, but. This is in one of their this is one of their new glosses. It's not a new gloss, but it's a new shade of one of their glosses. So this is the high gloss in the shade honey. So this is a new one. Did pick up another one. Um I think it was called Rosy. But my problem with these glosses is once you take the packaging off, it like removes the the label with the with the shade name on it. It's just annoying because like if you're going to rebuy it you know some of the shades are quite similar so he, that's it's annoying for that and it's also annoying if somebody asks like what shade in it are you wearing and you're like oh, um i think it's this but i'm not 100 sure because i don't have the i don't have the sticker so see it comes off like like with the packaging so you're just left with with this with no um with no name on it so i think the first one i ever got they did put it on the bottom the the shade name so i don't know why they stopped doing that but yeah i love these glosses they're very um they're very like they're very like moisturizing so i'm just gonna oh this one's super pigmented
Well, okay, I actually was not expecting that much pigment because sometimes they're quite sheer. So that is amazing that that's that pigmented. That's actually so nice, that one. And they are just so, I, th I find them so like moisturizing. so nice I think that lip gloss is so nice I was checking because I thought firstly when I saw it, it might be potentially a dupe of the Fenty glow heat in terms of color but um this one's a lot a lot warmer when I did put them side by side so not quite a dupe but oh, it's so shiny I would I would really recommend these glosses, but I swear, like, this one is way more pigmented and shinier than the other ones. That's so nice, that gloss. Honestly, um, I will be back in just a moment to give my final thoughts on So, apologies for the slight angle change, but, yeah, this is my full face of Primark makeup. Um, I'm so happy with how it's looking. The only part... Uh, I wish I had added maybe a bit more coverage on the foundation, but oh well. Um, but apart from that, like I think the powder is so nice. Um, I think the bro the bronzer is nice as well. Um, the blush, oh my gosh, the blush. I think the cream one you can definitely build it up, but I just I like the way it's quite natural. I actually do like the way it's quite like a natural glow and then the powder oh my gosh the carnival shade is absolutely stunning but you need literally the tiniest tiniest amount because if you put your brush in too many times to carnival it's gonna look crazy but yeah the eyeshadow palette mm, it was all right but it's not the best Primark eyeshadow palette I've tried um mascara really good as you can see really happy with the mascara highlighter absolutely love the highlighter i just think it's so like i literally put the tiniest amount on like, it's so glowy um yeah i love it the lip liner if you want to see all the premark lip liners swatch to go to my tiktok which is the same name as here belfast beauty and yeah a few months back i did a few videos swatching all the lip liners on my lips so yeah, if you want to see that, head over there and I'll see the lip gloss. I'm so impressed with this lip gloss. Like, I love the lip glosses because they're so hydrating and moisturising. But this one is definitely, because I, I bought two at the same time. So I bought this honey one and I did buy another one. I think it could be called Rosie, but I took the plastic off it. So the name's gone now, but... I swear it was not as pigmented and like moisturizing as this. I had to definitely put more of that on. Um, I probably had to put like two or three layers on of this. It's not even like it was just because uh, that's how much I like to put on. You could have put less on, but it just wouldn't have been as, as glossy and moisturizing. But I absolutely love this lip gloss and lip liner. I just, I love the look to be honest. I do really love the whole look. I do want to try and get a new Primark foundation so if I do manage to get one I'll do an updated full face but you know the struggle when you have a shade um, in a particular brand and you're trying to get a foundation and they don't have that shade anymore so you're trying to you know pick around for a new shade and like shopping for foundation shades is my worst nightmare like I don't want something that's too orange I don't want something that's like really really pale I just want something you know um like suitable f for me but all the ones i swatched were like they were all coming across like orange so yeah like shade shopping foundation is my worst nightmare but i'm gonna try and get the new luminous foundation and um yeah i'm gonna try and swatch a few more shades and try and get that and they do have a conce new concealer that i want to try 
but they only have like the whitest shade like the absolute lightest one which is gonna be like way too stark white on me or they have um they have ones for darker skin tones which aren't going to work for me so i'm trying to look out for a new concealer from primark as well so there could be an updated full face video coming soon also so i don't know how long this video has been but i'm guessing it's been pretty long so if you've made it to the end thank you so so much for watching this video let me know what you think about the look about primark makeup in general um let me know about the other ideas i talked about in this video like what kind of content you would want to see if you'd want to see my makeup collection just let me know but other than that thanks so much for watching and if you did enjoy it i'd really appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button um maybe subscribe for future content if you enjoyed and hopefully i'll see you again soon in another video thank you so much bye